hello everyone and welcome back to this video so in this video tutorial i'm going to walk you step by step on how to copy traders on the bybit copy trading platform particularly how to copy my own trade okay because i'm a pro trader there so i'm walking you step by step on how to copy my trades and stand a chance to make at least ten dollars every day okay um just trading on autopilot allowing the pro traders to do the trading for you all right so to be able to do that if i go to buy bid exchange as you can see here all right so once you come in here you'll see that there are a lot of traders okay buy bid has actually um categorized them in different ways um you can go ahead and see traders okay with the highest um you know profit for followers you can see traders with the lowest drawdown you can see traders okay who are top intraday traders and all of that they have you know categorized these they have thousands of traders here and you can choose whoever you want to copy alternatively if you have a particular trader in mind for instance if you want to copy my trade you can just go ahead and type in here digital learner okay and then you will see me pop up here okay you'll see my name pop up here and you go ahead and copy my trade for this particular strategy i'm going to make a link available for you because you cannot copy my trade if I don't, okay, uh, I personally invite you to copy my trade. If you just come in here and search for my name, you will not be able to copy my trade. So the best way is just to go ahead and use the link that I'm providing. I'm going to leave that link in the video description. And once you click that link, it will allow you, okay, to copy my trade. If you don't have a Bybit account already, yes. account already, what you want to do is to go to the description of this video, guys, and then click on show more. Okay, the first link here will be to sign up for a Bybit account and then the second link here will be to join my Telegram group where I'll be posting the link for you to copy my trade. Okay, once you do that, I'm going to walk you step by step on how to copy my trade using the mobile app, okay, the Bybit mobile app. So that's exactly what I want to do right now. So first, you need to click the link, okay, either in the video description or if I sent the link to you to copy my trade, you need to click on that link. Once you click on it, um, it should bring you to this page. Now, this is the page where the link will bring you to and all you just need to do is just to go ahead and click on the copy option, okay. So once you go ahead and click on the copy, that will automatically open up the copy trading on your app. Okay, so once it opens on your app, the next thing you want to do is to proceed and click on the copy option down here. Okay, just go ahead and click on the copy again. Now, when you click on the copy option, you have two, okay, two modes, two different modes you can copy my trades with. Now, the first option here is the smart copy, which is what you see here, right? The smart copy just give you this interface where you need to put in the amount you want to invest. And allow you um, allow the trader to you know do all of the risk management for you and all of that alternatively if you go ahead and click on the smart copy option you will see an advanced mode so here you you know you have this advanced mode by default it will be on the smart copy so make sure that you go on with the advanced mode okay um here you'll be able to set up your own leverage set up um you know the amount of money you want the trader to go into a particular trade with each time the trader opens a trade okay this way you'll be able to minimize your risk okay minimize your risk because if you just follow the trader your capital and that of the trader will not be the same except if you are going to copy a trader with anything around ten thousand dollars and above okay that is when you can just follow everything that the trader is doing so make sure you change to the advanced copy mode and then click on confirm once you do that here it gives you okay the option to put the amount of money you want to actually start copying this trader with what is the total capital you want this trader to start trading with on your behalf you go ahead and put that and as you can see here okay i have about 118 okay 0.67 there and if i click on the arrow by that amount you can see different wallet okay so you can select any of the wallet where you have your money if it is in your funding you select that if it is in your spot you select that if it is in your derivative you select that okay so in this case where i have funds is the funding so i'll go ahead and select the funding wallet all right so once i select the funding account the next thing is to put the amount of money that i want to invest so i'll go ahead and type in i have 118 okay 0.67 so we just do everything so after you put in the amount, the next option here is to put stop loss. You can go ahead and put stop loss, but I don't advise this, okay? You should allow the trader to manage this for you because if, for instance, you put stop loss at, uh, let's say, when the trade goes against you by minus, either $5, minus $10, and all of that, you end up seeing that your trade will be closing at losses while the trader is still running that trade. And at the end of the day, 
a trader will be making profit and you're not making profit okay so if you don't understand this i just prefer you leave it open all right just don't put anything there and then click on next now when you click on next here is where you have you know fixed margin okay um you have the option for fixed margin the fixed margin is that for each trade that the traders open okay um for each trade that the trader opens what do you want the trader to enter the trade with if it is hundred dollar go ahead and put that okay for each margin that the trader open if it is ten dollars go ahead and put that if it is twenty dollars go ahead and put that so it means that each time the trader opens a trade on your behalf that trade will cost you twenty dollars okay so depending on the amount of money you are copying with you can put as high as you want all right maybe hundred dollars two hundred dollars and all of that then down here you see where it says um leverage settings okay you have the option to follow the traders leverage okay or you can set up your own leverage so if i click on it you can follow you can actually follow the traders leverage or you can use your own fixed leverage or just use the custom leverage okay so if you don't want to there are two things i will recommend if you don't want to follow the traders leverage then just use fixed leverage and here on the fixed leverage you can now select the amount of leverage that you want so it means that even if the trader is trading with 100x leverage okay um maybe 200x leverage whatever leverage that the trader is trading with it won't affect your account it will only open on your account with you know the leverage that you have set up for yourself okay but for this particular account i'm going to use um follow um traders leverage okay and then i'll go ahead and click on confirm all right so you have other advanced settings here which i don't play around with okay i don't recommend you do anything here all right for the margin mode settings okay you can follow the traders or you can set up your own so if i go ahead and click on the margin mode okay so it says follow the traders or you can use cross margin or you use isolated so um depending on the amount of money again okay again you are copying the trader with you can follow the traders margin so it means if the trader is using cross margin it will be cross margin on your account if the trader is using isolated it will be isolated on your account but if you just want it to be one margin mode let's say just isolated whether the trader uses cross or not you go ahead and select that and that will equally reflect so in this account i'll just go ahead and do follow traders margin setting okay so down here you have the um, max um, position okay contract what this simply means is that if you put any amount here let's say 50 dollars for each trade okay or for each contract once that trader opens that trade because normally what we do is we continue to add margin to our trade to make sure that it brings our, um, our, our prices our entering price closer so that within a short period of time or a short move in the market we can make profit and close the trade so when we keep adding margin and you have put maybe 50 dollars here and maybe i have added margin like 10 times which will cost you more, like which will cost you like hundred dollars or two hundred dollars because you have put fifty dollars here the trader can no longer take any margin on that account okay and another thing you can do if you want to understand this better just click on this help icon attached here then you will understand what by bid is actually explaining all right so that is for the margin and then you have the max daily position limit here any amount you put here for the day if the trader has carried out a trade that costs you let's say you put hundred dollars here if the trader has carried out a trade that cost you hundred dollars even if the trader continues to trade again for that day all right it will no longer pick trade on your account because you have exhausted your limit for that day all right then you can use these other options here to set take stop profit and stop losses so you can just use a slider and say okay if the market goes by 50 percent i want to take profit and then if it goes against me by 50 percent i want to stop my loss and all of that okay the reason why i don't recommend you use this is because the trader may close the trade at five percent okay at ten percent and all of that so if you start setting all of this it will just be invalidating you know um the action that the trader is taking for you so leave this as default and allow the trader to do you know what they want to do for you okay so basically what i set here is you know the fixed margin which i want to the trader to do okay to trade with and then i have followed the traders leverage so it all depends on what you want you can adjust the settings to suit what you want after that down here where it says acknowledge okay to the terms and condition go ahead and check that 
So when you click on check checking this, if it doesn't allow you to check it, make sure that you click on this link here, okay, to open the terms and conditions. Just glance through it or you can read it to understand it better. After that, then, you know, use your back arrow to come back and then you can now check this, okay. It will not allow you to check this. That is, if you are doing that for the first time, it will want you to open the link, okay, and look at what is possible. Then after that, click on the check. Now, once you click on the check now, you can go ahead and click on copy now, okay and voila you are already copying my trade so it means for every trade that i take now it will be reflecting in your account okay so that's a step by step on how to copy my trades or copy any other trader on the buy bid exchange okay so another thing you should note is that while you are copying my trades or any other trader you can equally be trading using your futures trading account okay so if there is any question if there's anything you don't understand leave a comment below and i'll attend to that all right now, guys i hope you do enjoy that step-by-step -step walkthrough okay go ahead and join the telegram group and start copying my trade or you can copy any other pro trader of your choice okay using this step-by-step -step guide that i've showed you now if you are new to the channel consider subscribing hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time we go live or publish crypto related content on the channel here all right and if you have gained value from this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in the next video